In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the KDE desktop look like Ubuntu's Unity desktop. So if you don't like the way that Ubuntu conducts their business, shall we say, but you do like the way that Unity looks and works, well, here's methods you can sort of make KDE look pretty like that, with the look and the feel. Now, in this tutorial, I'll be using Solid K. I've gone for that because it kind of exhibits some of the behaviours that Ubuntu does already, especially with the behaviour of uh, using sudo in the terminal. So you can just type sudo and the command, so like apt get install, whereas within Debian you've got to go su and then the commands that you're trying to do. So it's a little bit easier. And they've also got the Dolphin File Manager kind of set up to a way that uh, Nautilus is with a double clicking and that. So it's just a little bit of a stepping stone on the starting point. But you could also use Kubuntu or Debian or well, most distros. It's a bit different though within Arch. Right, so I've started with adding a repository for KSuperKey. Now I know the advice is generally not to use the Ubuntu repositories within Debian. But for this case it's a single package that doesn't really depend on anything else. So I'm sure it'll be okay. The sudo adapt repository command differs slightly for Kubuntu, and there's a copy of all that in the description below. Let's do sudo apt-get update. Then sudo apt-get install and that list of packages. Yes. Well, next I'm going to download this yet another window control from KDE apps. So just save that. I need to go back page because the install instructions are listed on that page. So I'll go back into the terminal again. Now for some reason the monitor settings seem to have screwed up here in VirtualBox and I can't seem to solve it, which is getting a bit annoying. Right, uh, it's going to open up the downloads folder in Dolphin. I need to unzip this yet another window control. So unzip it in downloads. Right, so I go across the download folder and then yet another window control. I press the tab key to also complete. Now as per the instructions, make a directory called build. Change across to it. And then copy that line there for CMake. Now I hope this works first time for you because uh, I've had an awful lot of trouble trying to understand when it gets errors. Then the command make. And finally, sudo make install. Now for some reason I've got this one here, so kbuild, whatever it says, I can't read all that. But that's done now. Right, now to configure the desktop. So I'm going to click on the little cashew icon there. Click on screen edge, and drag that one up to the top. Then right click on the desktop, select add panel, and then empty panel. So okay that, and then click the cashew for this one. And I'm going to move that one, so click on screen edge, and I'm going to drag that across the left hand side. Click on width, drag it across and make it a little bit wider. Now click the arrow there at the top, drag that down a bit. And the one at the bottom seems to be okay, but you might need to drag that down a bit, depending on your monitor size. Now on this panel on the left hand side, right click and select add widget for home run launcher and the icon only task manager so let's close that I right click on the home run icon and select the KDE home run launcher settings just gonna change that icon there and see if we've got uh, there it is solid K apply that now change the keyboard shortcut click on that and then press the Windows key. Yep, happy to reassign that and I'm happy to get deafened as well. Yeah, not. Ah, oh, this really annoys me. Uh, can I just mute this? Mute, uh, mute, and mute all that. Hang on, let's just do that again. Why hmm. oh, that's coming up a bit funny there. But because I'm in VirtualBox, I'm just going to assign it for that at the moment. So, anyway. Now in this top launcher, I'm going to click on that cashew and hover over the application launcher, remove that, show desktop, remove that, oh, remove that one as well, <laughs> whatever we've got, task manager, yep, get rid of that, 
that's okay. And now we're going to add widgets. I want yet another window control. And the window menu bar. Right, I've got to move these around a little bit. So, let's see. Oh, I should have just done a new empty panel, shouldn't I? That would have been much easier. Click on the cashew again. And I want to drag across. Actually, forget it. I'm going to delete that. Let's get rid of the system tray. Get rid of the clock. Then I'll add. Then I'll add the system tray back in. It'll appear at some point, won't it? Yeah, our system tray. Digital clock. And the logout button. There we go. That's all in the right order. That's probably a lot easier than dragging everything around. Right, so right click on the logout, log lockout button. I'm going to go into the settings there. I'm going to untick lock. So I apply that. And I think I'm happy with everything here. Let's open something up. So Dolphin. Let's start making a bit more sense what we have on the screen. So let's go to yet another window control settings. And I'm going to tick that. Don't show window title when maximized. I'm going to take the window title down and the icon down as well. That looks a bit better now. In fact, actually, let's give it the icon entirely. Let's get rid of that one. Yeah, that's a bit nicer now. What we do want, we need to change the order here. So it should be close, minimize, and maximize. Right, so make your yet another window control settings look like that. Now when, the, now when an application is maximised, so you've got the menu there, and you've got the close button there. So that's kind of the behaviour of Unity. Right, into the system settings. The application appearance. Fine tuning. Now menu bar style. Only export. Apply that. Colours, well, your choice what you want on here. Same for icons. Fonts, you can start changing these to the Ubuntu ones. So I'll leave you to change that. It takes a little while to go through all those. That's what you need to do. <sighs> Thanks for deafening me. GTK, I'll leave you to change your settings there. And that's what you need for that. So now the workspace appearance. Configure buttons. We want use custom title bar positions, and we want right get rid of that plus entirely. I drag it off, so it should go close, minimize, maximize. The icon over the other side to be something like that. Cursor theme, ah, you can change that. If you want to see the one I use, that's the Oxygen Midnight Meadow. Desktop theme, play around with that if you want it. And that is it. We are done. If you want to keep some of the applications permanently listed in the icon only task manager, we can do if you open them up, right click on them, select that, show a launcher when not running. So when you close it, your launcher stays there. Excellent, job done. So that's how to make the KDE desktop look like Unity. Thanks for watching, see you later.